This is the fluid we're using. This can's probably 30 or 40 years old. So, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and try not that old. For like 10 years old. Video, this is not good. And you'll see there's no... Through there. Today, we're going to be teaching you guys how to properly bleed your brakes. Now, before you click off this video, this is not just for pit bikes like this one. This is for any type of hydraulic disc brake. It works for my road kill over here. It works for the mini kill. And road kill, he means by this. But let's get going. Ugh. Now, first of all, we should decide what brake fluid to use. Dot four, that's what you have. Now, let's explain what the difference between dot three and dot four. This says use dot three on it. Oh, You'll want to look at your no, master dot three cylinder, or four. and it will say what brake fluid to use. Now, if it says dot three, dot four will be fine. If it says dot four, don't use dot three. The difference difference between dot three and dot four brake fluid is dot four is rated for a higher temperature. So if you use dot three on something built for dot four, it won't really work properly. This is the fluid we're using. This can's probably 30 or 40 years old. You can see we pulled that plate Stop. off the top and we leveled it Stop. and you'll see there's no uh, brake fluid. In there, we're gonna change that. The brake fluid in here looked terrible, so we're changing it out. Now down here on the caliper, this is the brake line. This is where this comes in from the top, and this little knob right here. Okay, you want to pull that off, and you're gonna want to put a rubber hose on there. This rubber hose that I have conveniently fits right on that. Now I can't remember the exact size. It's really helpful to have this on here, and you'll see why in just a minute. You can do it without that rubber hose, but I would highly recommend doing it with the rubber hose because it will really help you out as you'll see in a minute. We're going to bleed the cylinder. When you pull this back, kind of hard to see, but you can see air bubbles coming out of the master cylinder. And that's actually bleeding the brakes. I have braking force. So this particular okay. system, you just need to fill it up with fluid and pump it a few times and it will be bled. On other brakes, on go-kart brakes, where you're not as fortunate to have a master cylinder that automatically bleeds itself, he's gonna put the line in there, because what that is, is that's a little bleeder valve. You will need to pull the bleeder valve off there. Now just loosen that up a little bit. See, so I push it down, let it up, push it down, let it up, push it down, let it up, push it down, and you can see little air bubbles in that uh, pipe. Uh, now tighten the, tighten the bleeder valve now. More fluid up top. Go ahead and loosen it again. When I pull this back down, you see there are air see. bubbles coming out of the brake as I am doing this. What you do is hold it straight up. You see the air bubble there? The air bubble is working its way up through the line up what? to the top. Wow. And it will actually come out the top. Now I'm going to refill my fluid. I don't want to get more air bubbles in through the top. Just very slowly continue doing this. I think we got it pretty good. Now, just tighten this. Don't get this too tight because you don't want to strip it. You just need it tight enough to not leak fluid through. So that's all good to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my master cylinder again a little bit. I am going to put the cap back on that master cylinder up there. Now the front brakes are bled, so if I try to roll it, it worked. That is how you properly bleed brakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the funniest thing in the world. Old man on a pit bike. <laughs> What do you think, old man? Were you clutching in every time you shifted? Yes. Clearly you didn't clutch in when you stopped. Well, that's because I was already Intentionally was already stalling dying. the engine? Yes. Yeah, sure, right. Intentionally stalling. Okay. Well, yeah. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. I'm going to put away my tools, and we will see... You guys in the next one. Peace.